All right, next, I've got a question from David. David says, Hi, Seth and team. I wanted to write and inquire about MEI legality question that is coming up, and the answers I get seem to be circular. I thoroughly enjoy all your podcasts and gain so much knowledge from utilizing you as a resource. The VSL guide is the best $70 I've ever spent in aviation. I appreciate the kind words there, David. All right, his question is, uh, it pertains to the regulations for instructing a multi-engine plane. 61-195F states, flight instructor has at least five hours of piloting command time in specific make and model of multi-engine airplane, helicopter, and powered lift as appropriate. My question is, as far as make and model go, is the make and model any aircraft covered under the TCDS of that aircraft? For example, the PA-23s at our school has a PA-23 and a and two PA-23-235s. If so I've received my ME and MEI training in PA-23-160, am I legal to instruct in any PA-23, or must I have five hours of PIC in every variation of obviously i understand any answer you give is just a friendly advice not fa legal interpretation i just know i could probably get a good understanding from you much faster than the fa responding to a request for interpretation well david you are right there i was able to get back to david pretty quickly on my thoughts on that i'm not aware of any legal interpretations that discuss this specifically so i kind of went back to what my opinions are on this and the way that i kind of interpret this is that the tcds kind of the first part of that make and model question the pa23 is the make and model so the aztec started with the apache and then they had the aztec which is basically the same fuselage different looking nose and then bigger engines and then some of the systems in it changed as well but for the most part it's it's the same airplane right the controls are in the same place handling handling characteristics are similar although you know operating the the handling characteristics of the Aztec with larger engines is going to be more difficult than a PA-23-150, which has 150 horsepower engines, versus the 300 horsepower engines. So I've always looked at those as a variant. 